What is going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and turn on those bell notifications to know when I upload. So I'm doing a Q&A today about Amish people. And for those of you that don't know, I do come from the Amish. I have an Amish background. I was raised Amish for a good portion of my childhood. And then as I got older, my parents decided to leave the Amish and we moved around the country just to kind of, I don't know, experience the world, I guess. But my point being, I started a series on TikTok explaining a few things about Amish people. And there was a lot of questions that I wasn't able to answer in the comments. It was getting really long to read all the comments, try to answer every single question people had. So I decided just to make a video, get people to ask the questions they have, and then compile it into a YouTube video. But just to clarify, I do come from the Amish, so I haven't been like Amish my entire life. So most of what I know is based off what my parents told me, what I remember, and just my experience living around the Amish for the last couple years since we moved back to Ohio. That being said, I come from the Old Order uh, Amish, so based off of what I know is primarily off the Old Order, and I know quite a bit about the New Order too, but mostly about the Old Order. Now the Schwartz and Troopers, I know very little about because they keep to themselves, and I do run into them occasionally, but unless they absolutely have to talk to you, they usually won't. So, as far as that, I'm not quite sure a whole lot about. Obviously, a lot of people know about the Amish people's existence. They know that they're out there, but they haven't seen them or they don't know a whole lot about them. So question one here is, what is their belief system? So basically, all Amish, I, I don't know how many years ago, it's been a while back, but they all got together like, what is one different type of Amish? What makes them right and the others wrong, right? And from my knowledge, they all got together and said, based off the original Amish, like, when it all started, if they agreed upon this constitution, basically, then it was all right and all correct, but each individual community can have its own rules based off, based off of what the bishop basically makes the rules. But basically, you have to dress a certain way, you can't drive cars, you have to drive horses, uh, you can ride bicycles for a lot of them. I don't think the Swartian Troopers can, but I know the Old Order, the New Order, and the Danners for we call them the Danners. I still don't know their official name, but they can drive bikes. Next question here is a pretty big one. Honestly, my honest answer is I don't know. I have never asked a Amish person what they think about it. I'm pretty sure they disagree with it very thoroughly now, as far as if anybody in the community was feeling that way, or I don't know. I really don't. Next question is what is the difference between Mennonites and Amish? So the Amish are like they can't drive cars or have electricity, stuff like that. Now the Mennonites, they are allowed to have electricity. Uh, all just basically how serious it is. There's some that are like very laid back and they can literally live like English people and it's not that big of a deal. And then there's others that literally live just like Amish people except they can drive cars and they can have like generators or something. And then the Amish obviously can't have any of that. We also have this question here. Horses are generally, yes, they're used for work, they're used for transport. Uh, basically, their entire way of life revolves around horses. But are they left on the side of the road if they go lame or something? No, no they don't. At least where I live, that, that never happens. There's a great question here, uh, do we vote? Well, do they vote? Again, I'm not Amish anymore. Uh, as far as I know, I know the old order does and the new order, I'm pretty sure they do and I wouldn't surprise me if the Danners do too. Now the Schwartz and Troopers, again, I, I don't know much about, I'm not sure about them. Now, do they all go and vote? Probably not. It's probably a bit of a trip for some of them, uh, but I ha have seen Amish people vote before. So yes, they do. This might be kind of a follow-up question for myself to answer. Uh, how do they know about political stuff going on? They read the newspaper. In the Amish community, the newspaper is still a thing. Those of you kids that don't know what a newspaper is, it's basically a big old piece of paper with the news on it. It's like a news article on your phone. But that's how they find out what's going on in the world, is with the newspaper. This one's a little more of a personal question. Why did my parents decide to leave the Amish? Basically, my dad went to a Christian revival thing and he realized that the way that the Amish believe isn't the way he believes anymore. The way the Christians believe made more sense to him. And my mom agreed and we left the Amish. I don't know the entire story, but from what I understand, that's what happened. Uh, yeah, so we left the Amish and I went with them and here we are, I don't know, 15 years later, however long it's been. That's a good question. Are they all strict or are some of them laid back? The answer is some of them are laid back. Like the old order, they're allowed to have flip phones now. 
they're allowed to have some electricity. Um, they're allowed to have like electronic bikes to where they don't have to pedal uphill all the time. They're all, they're pretty much just laid back. Like they aren't that serious. They don't shun people. Uh, I mean, under serious defenses, like serious situations, maybe, but my family never was. That's where we come from, so I don't know. But yes, some of them are laid back. How many kids averagely in a family home? Kind of a cliche question. I don't know. Uh, I I run like deliveries for a living, and I will get to Amish houses with 15 kids running around, or I'll get to one with two kids running around, or I'll get to one with none. It it's all just kind of based off the family, I guess. Is domestic violence an issue? Um, I can't say that it is, and I can't say that it's not. It's one of those things like, you don't hear about it, and, but just because you don't hear about it doesn't mean it's not going on. Well, I don't know. It could be an issue and it could not. That's one of those questions that's, that I'm kinda, I don't know about. But if this does well, I might make another one. If there's more questions upon the recording this video, these are the questions I had. I just kind of want to get this video out there real quick, answer some of the questions. If I do get more, I'll make a part two. So we'll see. But if you enjoyed the video or if I answered your questions, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, turn on those bell notifications to know when I upload, and I will catch you next time.